The Lord be with you. I'm Pastor Luther, serving Incarnation and Shepherd of Life Lutheran Churches, and this is at the close of the day. Our Bible reading for this evening comes to us from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 7, verses 24 and 25, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. I've tried everything and nothing helps. I'm at the end of my rope. Is there no one who can do anything for me? Isn't that the real question? The answer, thank God, is that Jesus Christ can and does. He acted to set things right in this life of contradictions where I'm going to serve God with all my heart and mind, but am pulled by the influences of sin to do something totally different. St. Paul struggles with the same kind of humanness that we do. Even when we have a will to do the right thing, we oftentimes mess up. And that can be so demoralizing and cause us to judge ourselves. I caution you against that, brothers and sisters, because God doesn't judge. God loves. God helps us to understand who we are in the light of Christ Jesus. So even as God, the judge, looks upon sin and condemns sinfulness, God, because of his grace, loves us enough to have sent his son into the world to save us. We are redeemed, and that can be celebrated. So as you sleep this night, remember, you're a beloved child of God, and you have been saved in Christ Jesus. Let's uh, bow our heads now and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.